Welcome to Interslice YouTube channel. I, Sobia Amin, back again to help you all with all your text queries. In the previous video, we discussed about how and what consequences you can face on late filing of ITR, where we also discussed penalty under Section 234A. As promised before, we will discuss today about penalty under Section 234B. So let's get started. According to the Indian Income Tax Act, taxpayers falls under the surveillance of Section 234, which requires the taxpayers to pay all the kind of taxes within or on time. When such obligation is missed upon for any reason, partially or completely, the taxpayers are penalized in the form of interest. One such interest is levied under Section 234B of the Act, which comes into play when a taxpayer fails to pay their advance taxes for any reason, either partially or completely. So, now the question comes that what is an advance tax? Advance tax can be defined as those taxes in the income tax which is paid in advance for the income earned in a particular financial year. Generally, the taxes are to be paid when the income is made. However, as per the tax provision of advance tax, the taxpayers have to estimate the income for the respective financial year. For taxpayers whose gross taxes in a financial year are rupees 10,000 or higher than that, then advance tax comes into action, making the taxpayer eligible to pay them following the due dates. Now the question comes, what is interest under Section 234B and how it is different from interest under Section 234A? Advance tax payment is an obligation of paying taxes in advance within specified due date and when you as a taxpayer fails to oblige the compliance, a penalty by the Indian government for such failure is imposed by virtue of Section 234B. According to this section, interest is imposed on the total taxable income which is left after deductions, which is now paid along with the taxes. Moreover, this interest is imposed in two of the cases. First, in circumstances where the taxpayer has failed or missed to pay advance taxes even though he is not liable to pay such advance taxes. Or, second case, in circumstances where the taxpayer has paid the advance taxes but the taxes paid are less than 90% of the gross assessed tax. Therefore, as according to Section 208 of the Indian Income Tax Act, Advanced tax should be paid by the taxpayer during the financial year in case the estimated tax liability of the taxpayer during the respective financial year is Rs 10,000 or more than Rs 10,000. Moreover, it is important to note that this interest is calculated in simplest form, that is to at the rate of 1% per month or fraction of month. Now, how does this interest is applied? As per Section 234B, interest is imposed from the first day of the assessment year which is from 1st April and ends at the date of determination of income as per section 143 clause 1 or in the case of a regular assessment made then by the end of such a regular assessment. In a scenario where the income is enhanced due to the assessment or recomputation of such, interest shall be levied as per section 234b of the differential amount till the date of assessment or recomputation beginning from the first day of the assessment year. If the income is decreased or increased as a result of rectification order made by the Settlement Commission, then interest will also be increased or decreased accordingly. In circumstances where the taxpayer has paid any tax before the closing of the assessment, then the interest will be levied as per Section 234B in two possible manner. First, interest will be calculated on the sum of unpaid or short paid advance taxes up to the date of payment made for self-assessment tax. Second, interest will be imposed on the unpaid or short paid amount of advance taxes after the deduction of the self-assessment tax paid by the taxpayer from the date of the payment made. Lengthy process, right? I understand. That's why we suggest you to pay taxes before the due date, so that in terms of any error occurrence, you have time to correct the error without being levied with a penalty. When, as a taxpayer, you miss upon paying your advance taxes and have been imposed with interest as a token of penalty, make sure that all the aforementioned requirements are subject to fulfillment. Moreover, you may calculate your levied interest on your own for your respective tax amount. If you are facing any problem with any filing interest along with returns or understanding more about interest imposed, 
then you may contact us on the number mentioned on the screen. Our team of experts will connect with you at your convenience to resolve all your text queries. Also, just like section 234A and 234B, we will understand 234C in a detailed manner. So do not to miss any updates, make sure you stay tuned. See you next time.